Hello everyone, welcome back to another exciting tutorial. In this tutorial, I will show you how to make this inkbleed text animation in After Effects. So without further ado, let's get started. Before jumping into After Effects, we need to do some preparation. Like, we need to download a CC Time Blend effect and add it to our presets. So go to this website or click the link in the description to directly download this effect. After downloading, extract the zip file. Open it. And here is the effect that we need to use. So select it and copy this effect. Then go to Local Disk C. Then Program Files, then Adobe. Select your version and under it go to Support Files. Here you'll find the Presets folder. Simply open it and paste this effect under the Behaviors folder. After pasting, open After Effects. Now if I search CC Time Blend FX, you can see it's successfully added. Let's move forward and adjust some settings. First of all, go to Edit, then Preferences, and under this, select the Memory and Performance option. Now you need to turn off the Multi-Frame Rendering option to use this effect smoothly. After that, go to Edit, then Purge, and select All Memory and Disk Cache. This box will open. It basically asks if we want to clear all cache, so click OK. While using this effect, we need to clear the cache each time before playing the RAM preview. So I recommend opening keyboard shortcuts, search purge, and set a shortcut key to clear the cache. Just like I set Shift plus X to clear it. Now we are ready to make the ink bleed text animation in After Effects. Let's start by creating a new composition. Give it a name, and I'm using 24 frames per second for this one. Then, I'll add a new white solid layer into this composition followed by a random text. Align the text to the center and lock the text layer. Then, select the white solid layer and choose the pen tool. Next, I'll draw masks over the text using the pen tool. After drawing mask lines over each letter, go to the Effects and Presets panel and search for the stroke effect. Simply apply it to the white solid layer. Turn off the text layer, check the box for all masks, then change the stroke color to black. And finally, set the brush size to 1.5 to get a thinner line. After that, we'll animate the stroke using the end value. Animate it from 0% to 100%. And now it starts to look like a hand-drawn animation. Once that's done, unlock the text layer, rename it to Displacement Reference, and turn it back on. Next, search for an effect called Fast Box Blur and apply it to the text layer. Set the blur radius to 10, then add another effect called Set Matte to achieve the layered look. Now apply Fastbox Blur again to the same text layer and change the blur radius to 1 so the edges of the text become softer. After that, search for Fractal Noise and apply it to the text layer. Start by setting the complexity to 10, then open the sub settings and change sub influence to 90. Scroll down and change the blending mode to none to remove the default contrast. Then. Search for Solid Composite, apply it to the same layer to give us a white background. Click on the color and set the B, blue value, to 50%. This will turn the white background into a perfect neutral gray. Now search for Fractal Noise again and apply it once more to the same text layer. This time, just change the opacity to around 8% to add some subtle texture. We now get this stylized, grainy ink look. Next, add a new adjustment layer. 
Name it Displacement Up. Apply a displacement map to this layer. In the map settings, set the displacement map layer to displacement reference and change the source to effects and masks. Now, turn off the text layer and duplicate the displacement up layer three times. Rename the duplicates to displacement down, displacement right, and displacement left. For the down layer, change the vertical displacement to negative 10. For the right layer, set horizontal displacement to 10 and vertical displacement to 0. For the left layer, set horizontal displacement to negative 10 and vertical displacement to 0. After that, select all displacement layers and change their blending modes to darken. Now add another adjustment layer. Name it Time Blend FX Copy. Head to the Effects panel, search for Time Blend, the custom effect we installed earlier, and apply it. Leave all the settings as they are. Next, duplicate this adjustment layer, rename it to Time Displacement FX Paste, and move it above the text layer. In the settings of this layer, set instance to paste. Change transfer to darken. Set accumulation to around 90%. Now let's preview the animation. Go back to the first frame, then go to edit, purge, all memory and disk cache to clear the cache. Or, as I mentioned earlier, you can use the shortcut key shift plus X for this step. It saves a lot of time. It's already looking good, but we still need to fix some details. As you can see, there are small white dots appearing in the text, so let's clean that up. Add a new adjustment layer and name it Median. Now go to the Effects panel, search for Median and apply it to this adjustment layer. Set the Median Radius to 1. This smooths out those noisy white dots. After that, select all the layers and pre-compose them into one composition. Name this new composition Animation. Next, I'll add a background image, which you can download from the link in the description below. Add the background to the timeline. Then, select the animation precomp and set its blending mode to multiply. Now it blends nicely with the background and it already looks so much better. Then I add a glow effect to the animation layer to give it a more organic radiant look. To finish it up, I create a new adjustment layer, apply the brightness and contrast effect, and tweak both slightly to enhance the final look. Nice! Now it looks perfect. However, if you feel the result looks too bold, you can control the bleed amount. Just go back to the animation composition, select the Time Blend FX Paste layer and open the effect settings. Now reduce the accumulation value to 5%. This will significantly reduce the ink bleed and the lines will appear thinner. So, by controlling the accumulation, you can fine-tune how much the ink spreads across your text and that's how you can create a beautiful ink bleed text animation in After Effects. If you enjoyed this video and want to support the channel, consider buying me a coffee. Your support makes a big difference and helps me keep creating awesome content. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video.